one in this tutorial we will configure firewall rules and policies using a firewall object mac host in our previous tutorials we have configured a firewall policy using ip host and ip host group so let's begin with the configuration now you are logged into the sophos xg firewall and going to the host and services tab over here under systems you will go to mac host now over here our requirement is let me open uh, the network diagram for you network design for you over here first till now what we have done is we have uh, used the ip addresses to create a firewall rules that was 10.1.1.150 and 10.1.1.100 but into the, uh, today's tutorial uh, we will be using the mac addresses of this client machines to access the internet to create a firewall rule so quickly going to mac host you will create you will add a mac host over here yeah, let's give the name client pc1 uh, we will take the mac address of this system i am on pc1 now client pc1 now so i will go to command prompt and i will get the mac address of this system So the physical address that is the MAC address of my machine is this. So I will simply add this MAC address and create my MAC host over here. It is giving me host with same name already exists. Okay, fine. Uh, since we have given the name in the IP host as client PC1, we will just change it to client PC1 MAC because the entry cannot be duplicated the name cannot be duplicated okay we have created a mac host now we will go to rules and policies where we have already created a rule for uh, using a ip host this was the rule which we created in our previous tutorial over here we have added as a ip host group in which we have two pcs if you can see over here we will remove this all the things will remain same the, we are not changing the rule name it, it will be as it is or else i can do one more thing i will just disable this and i will create a new rule for your understanding let me just turn off this rule in which we created in our previous tutorial so now the rule is disabled let me create a fresh new rule for you we will go to add firewall rule new firewall rule we will give the name client pc1 2 van anything you can give the name description is optional rule position i will keep it on top action is accept rule group i will say none i don't want to group uh, place this rule in any of the group for now we will log the firewall traffic source zone will be lan for me i will select this source over here i will remove this any and i will be selecting the one which i have created the mac host that was client pc1 mac this is the one i have created right i will just choose this and we will select it schedule i need all the time destination zone will be van since i am creating this rule to access the internet for the client pc1 using a mac host destination network will be any services we will keep any for now moving on we will just link a nat rule what we have to do you know very well simply you have to add a snat as masq and save this nat rule it will be linked to your firewall rule as you can see it is sa saying that link to nat rule client pc1 to van uh, web filtering and application filtering we are not doing we have done in our one of a tutorial previously i will just save it now i am not applying any kind of web filtering or application filtering for now so i have saved the rule the rule is updated then we will see now moving on i will just try to browse the internet just let me show you one thing over here that we don't have any rule created for this pc2 van you can see over here there is no rule created 
the traffic must go from this rule only i can see the traffic has started to move on now let's go over here uh, to we'll open the new tab i will go to google.com yes and you can see you have created a whole uh, firewall rule using a mac host successfully and you can see even the traffic flow over here we can go into the log viewer and we can even verify this Going to diagnostic, click on log. Let me show you again. Going to diagnostic, click on log viewer. And you can see over here the file is saying firewall rule 6, NAT rule 4. Just we will verify this. Firewall rule is 6, okay, and NAT rule is. Firewall rule is 6, NAT rule is 4. If you will go to NAT rule, it will be shown over here. NAT rule for client PC 1 to WAN. So, this verifies that the traffic, this traffic which is originating from client PC 1 is going through the rule which we created just now. And this is what, uh, this is how we create a firewall rule using a MAC host entry. So guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your friends. Thanks and see you in the next video.